Hi there guys, this is Benjamin here from SayBuy9to5.com and welcome back to my channel. Now in today's training video, I'm going to share with you guys how exactly can you actually do a screen record and perhaps do some form of presentation or if you like to do some form of review videos and upload it to your YouTube channels respectively. Alright, so as you can see over on my particular screen here, alright, um, on this particular column on the bottom right, you can actually see my face. Now, uh, this is considered as one particular scene, alright. So if I want to switch over my scene to like this, all right, so you will only see my face and you won't be able to see my screen. All right, so uh, let me explain all this to you in details. But first thing that you need to do is to actually go to this website. All right, let me show you my PowerPoint slide here. Okay, go to this website, HTTPS, uh, I call it, colon, forward slash, forward slash, obsproject.com. All right, you will reach this particular page here. If you are using a Windows OS, download it from here. Mac, download it from here. And Linux, download it from here. This is a free open source software for video recording and live streaming. Okay, so I would say it's free and it's pretty easy to use, which I'll share with you guys now. All right, so after you have finished downloading, uh, let me get back to my slide again. All right, we are going to create two scenes. Okay, and each scene is going to have uh, their respective sources. So my scene one will be a webcam and an audio input capture source, so two sources. My scene two will be a webcam, display capture and audio input capture. Alright, after we have settled these two particular sources, that's where we are going to configure all the settings and the hotkeys to alternate between the, these two screens. Okay, now let me explain to you what I mean by that. Okay. Now, again, from what you can see on the screen here, you can actually see my uh, cursor moving, right? Okay, you can actually see what is on my display monitor. This is called the display capture. All right, so it's going to capture whatever that you're showing on the monitor at this point in time. At the same time, I have this uh, column here, right? This one will actually show my webcam. Okay, now actually within OBS, you can also at the, the same time actually off your webcam like what I'm doing now. So you won't be able to see my webcam. So you only see my display capture. At the same time, you can hear my voice. That is my audio input capture as well. All right, so let me on my webcam again. Now I'm able to do this because uh, I'm simultaneously using three different monitors. All right, so I'm actually uh, playing around using my left monitor, but my center monitor is the one that I'm showing you guys with. So this is considered as one scene. Okay, guys, one scene. Now this will be the next scene. All right, so this is generally my scene one, by the way. So in this particular scene, you will actually get to see my uh, webcam. All right, this is not considered as a display capture because you're not sh you're not able to see anything that's on my monitor at this point in time. So this is considered as my um, webcam as well as my input capture. Okay, my audio input capture. All right, now let me show you guys. Huh? So this is my OBS settings. All right, so these are the two scenes that generally I use, scene and browser, all right? Just, just ignore this particular one. Just ignore this one. Now, if I go over the browser, you can see that the entire screen looks very funny, right? There are a lot of uh, replications over here. Now, reason for that is very simple. You just imagine, uh, I'm using my webcam now, and uh, I'm capturing my display, which is what you see on the screen. So what OBS is doing, why are there so many replications here? Because at the same time, they are showing what is on my monitor and also my webcam simultaneously. So, it's, so it just keep on repeating by itself. Right? Just ignore this whole thing. First thing you need to do is hit this plus button here. All right? Then enter the name of the scene. I call it scene 1. So once you actually input this particular scene, uh, what, okay, let's say for example, we, we key in this particular scene. Yeah? All right? So you show, you, it will still show empty. Now then you go over to your sources. Okay? Go over to your sources. Sorry. So after you go to scene 3, all right? So after you uh, you key in a new scene, go over to your sources and under your first scene, you are going to input two things. One will be your webcam, the other one will be your input audio capture. All right? So if I were to click over here, so you can see that the audio input capture is here. The webcam is on under uh, webcam webcam this is the audio input capture, the webcam will be this one, video capture device. Okay, this is the one. Alright, you see a camera there. Sorry, it's kind of small. Alright, you see a camera icon, that will be the webcam. 
then this is the audio input capture. All right. So once you add on these two particular sources to your scene one, this is what you will get. So this is the scene that you will, you will have, all right, which is the webcam and as well as the audio input. After you set it for scene one, then you go over to scene two, all right. For scene two, again press a plus button here, create a scene two, and then please move in this order. First thing you add will be the webcam. Second thing will be the display capture. If you add the source over here, the display capture is this one, all right. So this, so don't confuse between the display capture and the webcam. All right, this is the webcam. This is the display capture. All right, like I, say, uh, like I mentioned before, display capture is for what you want to show on your screen monitor. All right, your webcam is to show yourself. Okay, so first thing you do, add a webcam, which is this one. All right, configure the webcam to whichever is the webcam that you are using. It can be your laptop webcam, it can be a, a USB cable webcam. All right, then after that, the second thing you need to do is to add in another source called display capture. All right, if you only have one monitor, uh, generally, there will be no choice for you to choose. Just input whatever is the default one, all right, which is your monitor display. Okay, then the last thing you need to do is your audio input capture. If you don't have this audio input capture, you realize that your video cannot, uh, there's no sound, all right, so you need to input this particular thing as well. Okay, so these are the only two scenes that you need actually. Now, after you have finished setting up these two scenes with their respective sources, Okay, I repeat again, uh, sorry, my scene 1 is audio input capture, followed by webcam. My scene 2 will be webcam, display capture, and audio input capture. Okay, so scene 1 has two sources, scene 3 has three. Okay, now let's go to settings. Right, let's move into our settings now. Okay. So, as you can see over here, you have the general. Okay, so whatever you see over here, just follow accordingly. If I tick it, you just tick it. Okay, like the theme, put it under the dark default language is English. Check the one for automatically check for updates on uh, startup. You know, and the output, the first two box, check it. Source alignment snapping, snap sensitivity 10.0, enable it, and create these two. All right. So every time when you finish one particular uh, menu here, remember to hit the apply button. All right. If not, you won't save accordingly. Now, some of it by default is already ticked for you. So just follow according to the template that you see on the screen over here. Okay. And the last one will be system tray enable it. Now under streaming, uh, this one is for my YouTube streaming. So don't really have to bother about it if you're not doing streaming on YouTube. Streaming needs to say you are doing a live, all right, a live recording on YouTube, um, but generally if you're not doing live recording, but you're just doing a video record and subsequently with the video file uploaded to YouTube, you don't really need to use this streaming. Okay, now let's go to output. Okay, for output, output mode, put it as simple. Okay, if you see the options over here, okay, never mind, it's, it's, it's already under simple. Now for streaming, video bit rate is 2500 kbps. Okay, um, audio bit rate 160. Now this recording path, okay, this one is very important because um, what it what it's trying to say is every time when you hit the start recording button and stop recording, right, OBS will automatically uh, save it into a video file for you. Now this video file, if you don't actually configure it, uh, it will go into your um, videos capture file, okay, which is in which is a download folder in your Windows operating system. So what I suggest is before you actually configure your recording path, go to your desktop and create a folder. Okay, let me show you guys. All right. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm showing my center screen. But anyway, what happens here is just go over to your lap to your desktop. Uh, right click on any of the empty space and create a new folder. All right, then name this folder as videos. All right. And after you're done with that, come back here to your settings. Okay, your settings button is over here. This this button. Go over to output and change your recording path accordingly. So just hit the browse button and change it to desktop and the particular video that you name it. It can be YouTube videos. Just name the folder whatever you want, alright? For, for, for me, I name it as videos. Okay? 
recording quality now uh, recording format I save it as M MKV all right um, encoder times 264 just follow everything that you see on, on the screen over here on the output then after that remember to hit the apply button okay now coming to audio all right these are all the settings okay these are all the settings so you might want to pause the video and just do the settings accordingly all right these are all the settings here for video okay these are all the settings the base resolution is 1920 by 1080 output resolution 1280 by 720 yeah okay now coming to the hotkeys all right so if you only have one screen which is your, let's say you're using your laptop right uh, you will find that it is not possible to actually alternate the screen so easily because you have to open up the OBS again, you know, to actually click on different scenes. <coughs> so one way that you can do it is <coughs> under browser, right, hit the plus button and hit alternate plus F1. So on your keyboard, you press the alternate button and F1 simultaneously. All right, until you see this thing called alternate plus F1. So if you have this particular hotkey here, so this hotkey will enable you to, well, while you're recording, let's say you are at a particular scene, let's say you are scene one, okay, whereby, whereby it only shows your webcam and the audio input. And after you finish talking somewhere, you want to actually move to show your audience your um, monitor and your webcam, you can actually just hit on your keyboard, alternate and F1, and automatically the scene will change, okay? The scene will change within OBS settings itself. All right, so there's no need for you to open up OBS, click the scene tool, then uh, minimize OBS again and continue recording. No, that's only to do that. All right. So this is where you actually do it, which is a call under hotkeys. All right. Um, the rest I don't really use, but this is the most important one. Switching to scene. Under advanced, uh, these are the ones. Okay. Just like what I said, copy accordingly because uh, initially I was following YouTube and using another settings, but I realized that when I recorded my my uh, what they call it? My videos are uh, about 15 to 20 videos. Suddenly it says that my entire hard disk is full. I cannot record any new video. Then I realized the reason was of one of the settings, which is I think under output. Yeah, one of the settings here. All right. Uh, so I changed the settings accordingly and now I'm, I have no problem in terms of recording my videos and save like 50, 60 videos in my desktop. It's, it's all right because it actually minimizes the file size okay so again these are the advanced settings here so please do it accordingly okay. if the settings is already by default when you check your OBS settings is already whatever is shown on the screen just leave it alone and uh, if there's nothing to change of course of course you will see the apply button popping up but if you change anything remember to hit the apply button as according to what you see on the screen now all right so this is for settings now so now I'm doing my recording right so let's say I'm on, on this particular scene all right, if I hit my alternate F1 on my keyboard at the same time, like for example, let's say for, um, usually when I do my review video, I will say, all right, without further ado, let me show you what kind of bonuses I have in store for you guys, you know, blah, blah, blah. Then I'll just hit my keyboard alternate F1. See, the screen automatically changed by itself. Okay, this is what I want to show you guys. Okay, now, another thing is over here at the settings area. Okay, let's say we go back to the scene again. Now, you see on the sources, there's this audio input capture. All right, and as well as webcam. So there's these two I button and these two uh, lock button, okay? So if you have already aligned your webcam, especially when you first added the source, you can actually um, minimize or maximize it like this, right? So try to fill up to the entire black color, color area, right? The entire black color spot here, all right? Don't leave anything empty because you want to show your entire face, right? Okay, um, of course you can do the alignment as well, blah, 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 you know? So, something like that yeah it can it can also be done uh, but usually I just leave it as it is like that all right so if I want to do it I will just align my camera or if not I can just position it like that also can all right so once you have finished your positioning then go over to this lock and lock it so there's no way you can change it anymore unless you click click again to unlock it all right then if you want to change anything to do with it just remember to click this button until the red color top uh, line the border line the red color border line comes up and that's when you can do the alignment again all right the audio input capture the one that i'm using is my uh, usb microphone all right uh, pretty cheap i think you can get it on 
Amazon for like 10, 20 bucks, right? Okay, now coming to my browser. Same thing, when you're actually showing your um, monitor and uh, some parts of it, you actually want to hide your face. For other reason, maybe it's blocking some information, you can actually just hit this button here. All right, now, now it's locked, so unlock it first. All right, you can actually hit this button here and now you don't see my face anymore. Correct? And then I'll hit it again, now my desktop, now my webcam comes up again. All right, so remember, after you've done all the settings accordingly, like, 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 like for example, okay, it's, it's now unlocked. The webcam, when you initially added it, it can be actually quite big. It can actually be something like this. Somewhere in the middle. Alright. So, of course, you just have to position it and then minimize it. Like that. Alright. Again, same thing you, after you've done all the moving, lock it. So, it stays there. Alright. stays there. Unless you unlock it again to configure it. Same thing for display capture. Alright. Uh, if I unlock it, okay, this is my entire display capture. Uh, I, can I, can, I can maximize it again or I can just move it to like that to like this alright so it actually fills up the entire back space um, let me see okay something like that alright you can just keep on aligning aligning, uh, aligning it until you realize that this is the entire space that you want okay so I will just lock it again Alright, so as you can see, uh, I, I don't know whether you can see on my screen that I'm actually recording now. Alright, so if let's say somewhere along the way you want to actually pause the recording because you have some interruptions, uh, maybe your kid is asking you for attention or you have some calls that you need to entertain, you can just hit the pause button and then continue and then press it again. Alright, don't, don't, don't press the stop recording, eh? just press the pause recording. And now I'm recording again. So just now I, I actually paused it for about one two seconds. All right, just press this particular button that you see over here. Now the rest of it, I like start virtual camera or studio mode. Uh, I don't really use it. Controls, no, I don't really use it. Also, uh, scene transition. Of course, you can change it to, to different types. Uh, all right, but usually the one that I use is just fade. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, settings. Yeah, that is all. It's pretty simple in terms of using OBS and. Most importantly, it's free, right? It's a free open source software, so why not? Okay, now, as for the audio mixer, uh, what you see over here is I have my webcam. I have my microphone volume. As I talk, you see that this particular thing is moving. Alright? It's still moving around here because of my aircon that is actually running. So my mic is pretty sensitive, as you can see. Okay? If there's anything that you want to do the change of the volume here, just go over to this particular icon you can go under advanced audio properties and you can change the volume okay like this one like that the volume percentage you want to make it high low up to you okay these are all my settings for my uh, volume my microphone I put is 500% now previously I was only using like I think 200% and I realized if you go back to my first few recordings in my YouTube channel you realize the volume is kind of low so I changed the whole volume to 500% because initially I thought it was my microphone that spoiled no? then I actually went to play around with OBS and realized that this, this volume is too low so I thought 120% is normal in fact it's quite loud right but the result came out as kind of soft so I changed it to 500% and then I record it and I hear it myself okay so I'm satisfied with the volume so I leave it at, as, uh, at 500% right under my microphone okay so we'll close this. Okay, now for the audio input capture, uh, for this particular one, I usually off it. All right, as you can see, I off this volume. Now, reason for it is because, um, you see, I'm using a microphone, excuse me, and at the same time, I'm using a Logi, a Logi brand webcam. This webcam also has the microphone function. All right. So this is the particular one that if I don't if I don't mute it, uh, sometimes you will hear some echo because there are like two microphones working. So I have to mute it and just leave the mic the mic auxiliary on. Alright, so this is the one that I'm using for my this microphone. This particular microphone. Alright, which is a USB cable microphone. Okay, uh let me see. Any other important things? Not so much, yeah. Generally, that, that's about it. You just have to learn how to use all these functions, creating these two scenes, and each scene has the source. Now, remember, 
always refer back to this PowerPoint slide here. All right, download OBS from this particular website. Create two scenes, and each one of the scenes you have two sources, which is webcam and audio capture. The other one you have three sources, which is the webcam, display capture, and as well as the audio input capture. Oh yeah, just one more thing in case I forget. Okay, if you look at it, my arrangement is webcam on top, display capture below, right? So if I move this thing below, suddenly you realize that my webcam is still here, but you cannot see my face. Reason is because the display capture is covering my webcam. It's covering my webcam, all right? So you need to align it up again so that your webcam can show, okay? So it has to be in this sequence, webcam on top, display capture, and then followed by input, audio input capture. Then for the first one will be audio input capture, then followed by webcam. All right, just ignore the name. It's just a name that I, that I gave it when I added the source, which if you add a source here, let's audio input capture, you can name it yourself, okay? Alright guys, so I hope this actually helped you in terms of knowing how to play around your OBS. Remember to follow the settings accordingly, if not you realize after you record like again 10-15 videos, your entire hard disk will become full again. Okay, So follow the settings accordingly, pause it and move according to your OBS, uh, configure it as per what my settings are and you will be alright to get started with your recording. Okay guys, so uh, if you need me to do up a video in terms of how do you actually Push your recording videos into your YouTube channel. Just leave a comment below in my this video. I hope you appreciate this particular video. And I uh, any any questions, whatever, don't worry. Just leave a comments below. I'll do my best to answer for you guys. Okay, take care.